Bible, where you write your life in the Ivory Coast. Father of the world, you know, this is the second time we come to the Ivory Coast to do a broadcast from this regular radio station. It's uh, inspired by IRFM, and we are here again to really try and connect the two worlds. We are here to to take part in a reggae festival, the biggest reggae festival in Africa. It's called the Abbey Reggae Festival, and it starts tomorrow. Well, it starts today, actually. Today, until Sunday, um, there are three Jamaican acts on the show, on the bill. Myself, Julian Marley, and the Grammy-winning group, Morgan Heritage. And, and that's beautiful, because... You know, this place, I tell you, this place, uh, it's unbelievable. I mean, I thought that Trinidad was a place where you hear a whole heap of music, but Trinidad play mostly dancehall music. They're here, they're just into reggae music, the hardcore reggae music, and we really appreciate that. I mean, when we look and hear the youth them, and see the youth them, and listen to the cars them that pass us, listen to the radio station in the car, I mean, it's unbelievable. I think in my travels, South Africa have the most Rastafari Virgin and history in South Africa. But this place, Ivory Coast, have the most reggae playing. I mean, I, don't, I, I have to really try and understand how is it that a little island named Jamaica produce a little music and it take all of... This, is, this, this population is like 25 million people. And the youth, them grab to the reggae. I mean, most of the artists that do music here, it's not that they, they're shunning their, their roots. But it is really strange. I mean, that's not strange, really. But just to say how the youth them gravitate towards the roots reggae, it's really something else. So, we're there with you, and we, we hope that the line is, is, is perfect now. I mean, we we really hope that the line is perfect and it sounded like the line is perfect because we're not getting any sound from Jamaica that is not happening. So, music. Into your life from the West Coast of Africa and Zion FM is really, we are appreciating what is happening here and we are appreciating what IRFM is, is accommodating in Jamaica. We're going to continue the music. We're going to continue the music just to really. You know, it's really, uh, we, have to we have to tell the people, them, because we don't know if what we were saying originally was coming out. It was really a task reaching here in this early morning here. The time in Ivory Coast is seven minutes past four o'clock. I think we have five, a Jamaica is five hours behind. We, we here in Ivory Coast is five hours ahead, so it's four it's four, seven minutes past four here, and trust me, to get up two o'clock, to reach here three o'clock, was really something else. You know, we have a designated driver and a security. When we wake, designated driver thought we were telling him that to come tomorrow at two o'clock. The, the security walk out the job. We don't know what was happening around here. Then we took a taxi here. The taxi couldn't find a place. It's a lucky thing I have a, a memory about going back to places. This is like, we are talking about like 2 o'clock in the morning, 2 o'clock in the morning, we are driving on this highway, lonely road there, and the man turned off of the road and got to our nightclub. The nightclub looked like one place where... <laughs> no, I tell you, the nightclub looked like a place where we wouldn't even go ask a question. You see, from me, you see, I ask questions around us. I just show me, say, Bridget, come down the car, man. You pass the place. I know which way you're supposed to go. Go back by the highway and make sure you're away. Anyway, we reach, but now we, as, as you can hear and say, we don't know if it's coming through there, but we know that there was some difficulty in getting us here. But we are here, and we're going to be here later on again for the stepping razor, you know, because that is what we, we intend to do. But as we say, Abbey Reggae Festival, the biggest reggae festival in this part of the world in and, and it is an answer the promoters we try to get the promoter here but he said well I, Muta, I really want to come but it's too early <laughs> it's too early for reach and reach us up. but what he's saying is that he has been to Europe and he see reggae music and the festivals in Europe and he was taken aback because there was no really big 
reggae festival in Africa. So last year they decided that they would do a reggae festival incorporating not only the music but the philosophy of Rastafari. And this radio station was start out of that, started out of that idea. Zion Radio was started out of the idea that it is going to play all reggae music and it is going to promote reggae and Rasta. This we are talking about like is a government minister start this. And he's saying that he wants to promote reggae music and Rasta, especially amongst the youth. So you can see where this thing coming from. They're not afraid to tell you that. You know, in Jamaica, you, you don't have no minister. I get up and I say they must start something for promote Rasta. You understand? Especially like a radio station. So they started the radio station last year and also the festival last year. The festival was successful, so they decided that they would do it this year again. And this is the outcome of doing it this year again. We're looking forward to wonderful things. We're looking forward to the, 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 the reggae music that is there. Can I tell you that? I mean, really and truly. You, 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 man, if you hear reggae music, man, a lot of you might have heard, especially the artists, them hear reggae music in Europe. And you hear white people are play reggae in Europe. Well, trust me, you want to hear African play the reggae. And we had the, we had the opportunity of going to our next radio station. We actually left Alpha Blonde radio station to come here. And the youth them, the youth them say, Muta, look here now. We love the dance hall music. We have come out of Jamaica, you know. But guess what? We take the dance hall music and put conscious lyrics to it. Because we don't like the dance hall music that is coming out of Jamaica. We love the reggae, but we don't like the dance hall music coming out of Jamaica. So they use the, they use the, the rhythm and put their French lyrics or um, the, 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 the indigenous language um, um, to, to, to the dance hall music. And it's really, I mean, believe you me, we're going, tomorrow, ma, tomorrow or later on, we're going to play some um, for the stepping razor to show you the kind of music that is coming out of this place here. And, I mean, the, the youth, them just love it. They, them just love it. Them love the music. Them love the poetry. I, I, I really never know that the poetry was so big amongst the youth, them here. They, they actually, they have a movement. They have a movement here. Uh, I, I don't know what I say to myself, but a Muta Baraka movement where they actually recording a lot of the poems and reggae music in French. In French. They're doing it in French and Akan language. And it's, it's really nice. Really nice. So, yes, things clicking. I will give thanks to so his ear. This is the cutting edge. And I, refer, I am told that the listenership for this radio station um, just started last year and the listenership according to the polls is 2 million and most of the listeners are young people so you know what we're playing with here what we're dealing with 2 million, most of them most of them is young people and if 2 million young people is gravitating towards what we call Roots, rock, reggae music. It, it's something to, to really cherish and something that you will need to really take part in and recognize how important that consciousness is to the African people. And given what I saw last year, and the, 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 it, it appeared to me that the promoters have gone Every is over to make it better this year. But given what I saw last year, if that is a, 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 a spot to what is to come, then may I tell you, we, we, we need to really, we need to figure out ourselves, in a Jamaica especially, we need to figure out ourselves. We can't make some little youth come. And because of them bling and them material thinking, wipe away. Wipe away where all these great preaching and sistering strive for so hard to make the thing reach in Africa, yourself, to make it reach in Europe, to make it reach in Japan and them places. 
And you have some youth, you know, where turn around the thing and twist around the thing like say it's a go go dancing business and you know frills and chills and body ride and all these things where we see them are weird. It, it, it's really heart rendering. And it's more heart rendering when you leave Jamaica. And most regular artists will tell you, it's very heart rending when you leave Jamaica and see the respect that is given to Jamaican music and Rastafari. White people who the music talk to and them can really regurgitate and emulate what they hear. And then we see Africans, you know, man like Lucky Dube, man like Alfred Blande, where, where if we're not getting him tonight, we're going to get him tomorrow by the Ukai the Cook. We're going to drive more time house tomorrow or a little more. When we really see how oh, these Africans, continental Africans, treat the music and Rastafari, man, it's like you want to cry Rasta. Me in the hotel room, I say, but wait, it's what is? What is this? Oh, 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 oh them treat Rasta that way there in Jamaica. And how do you them not recognize the importance for continue, for continue what was laid there as a foundation? Who mash down the reggae music consciousness? Is it a Conspiracy, because sometimes we have to think all the way to. Was it a conspiracy to bring this other genre of music without the, the, the consciousness, without the militancy, to really hold back what reggae music has done and can do for the liberation of not only African people, but for people all over the world? Because if it went that far. Can you imagine how further it could be if the youth them maintain it? But there's some, I, I, I don't want to say, but there's, it, it would appear to me that there's some form of conspiracy to hold back the music and push the negativity that we now see in the dancehall music that now these negative artists is touring in the same area that the reggae artists of old used to tour and reversing may I tell you them reversing the trend that was set there by our great musicians and artists but but I tell you I come here in this part of the world and I see hope I see hope and I'm not talking about me personally. I'm talking about that faith and hope that all of us must have. That we say, good must overcome evil. And when I hear, I mean, when I hear the youth tell me today, say, Muta, you see, we know, we take the dance hall music and put our culture to it, put our consciousness to it. And I know that when I travel, when I travel in the Caribbean islands, and when I go to Miami, and when I go to New York, is the derogative music the media push. And you have to wonder how the hell did this thing happen? From whence come it? An island that gave the world Marcus Garvey, that gave the world Bob Marley. That gave the world Rastafari, J.E. Rogers, an island that has propelled itself in the center piece of cultural expression. How did it get to this level that people now is almost rejecting the whole idea and understanding of it? How did this happen? Could it be? Could it be a conspiracy? And right now, being here, I tend to want to move towards that idea that this is probably a conspiracy against the music and against Rasta. And you say, we know you are listening to it down at Jamaica there, you know. It's born real last thing that you know. But you see, when you hear it up here, so believe you me, it sounds totally different when you're there in Africa and hear that you know. 
You want to see the African the most side. <laughs> you want to see the African the most side. So you want to know. We get a, a request from a bridging with them side. We say, I mean, I played last year. And I want to play it again. But I want to tell you something unique about this area of Africa with the reggae music. What I've been listening to is that the, the reggae artists, them, the young reggae artists, them in a, in a Ivory Coast, them are cover the Jamaican artists in a freedom language. That is really impressive. We well, hear like Burning Spear, Bob Marley, even myself. Them cover the Jamaican artists in a, not only um, the French, but them indigenous language. So we are playing the song of a bridging. We say, Muta, I hear you play this song last year. Why play it again? This is by a uh, Ivorian by the name of Miwe. To the last drop. As we are saying, it's really touching. You know what I mean? It's touching to, to come out to the next country and hear the music where Jamaica create so wide. And yeah, so, especially amongst the young people. Them. Especially amongst the young people. Them. And when we say young people, we are talking about teenagers. We are not talking about big, boasting to one 40 year old, 50 year old man. We are talking about teenagers. You understand? It's really. It, it, it feels good. It feels good. So, we w- would want to believe that this is the man that started it all here in the Ivory Coast with his music and his philosophy of Rastafari and connecting himself with the Jamaican culture. He was able to really penetrate Africa and has, it's still penetrating Africa and the world. <laughs> man called Alpha Blande. We spent quite a long time with him today. We was expecting him to come here, but as I said before, you know, the hours right just so no, it's it, it terrible. I mean, we can't understand if a man don't come, if you tell him to come and interview three o'clock at the morning. You understand? So, we forgive him for that, but we hope that today we can get him on the stepping razor. This is the cutting edge. Really, really serious thing I go on here, believe you me. You know, we want to make a decision behind me. Cabo, you know something I love you. Believe you me. Cabo, I know I love you very much. And I know you're the program manager for IRFM. But I'm going to make a decision without you giving me the authority to do it. And when it's tuned down, I'm going to tell you what is the decision. <laughs> is the cutting end. So may I talk to me I don't know if I must talk to my program manager, I talk to my good friend Cabo. <laughs> you know, say we just talk to the ones them in the studio here yeah, and they make a suggestion that my feature is a wonderful suggestion. Uh, the, 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 the suggestion is that the Cutting Edge program should connect with Zion Radio at least once a month. And guess what me do? Me tell them yes. <laughs> me tell them yes. Say we will do it. Because me think, say, we can't just do this once a year when me there. You understand? 
we have to have that connection, total connection. So, Cabo, believe you me, me I tell them yes, we want to connect with Ivory Coast, Zion Radio, at least once a month. Maybe not the whole program, but maybe two hours out of the program once a month, we can say, we are playing music to Ivory Coast, Ivory Coast are playing music to we. And we can rest assured, say the youth them inside us, uh, and some good youth them, them play conscious reggae music. Them learn at the Rary and the Lele, you understand? Especially the bridge in them who they are with me right now. So, we have make that, we have make that decision, that Cutting Edge will broadcast the program from Jamaica to the Ivory Coast at least once a month. And as I say, maybe not the whole program, which I wouldn't mind the whole program, but I could say, Cabo say, well, I seem to make the decision behind my back. I never make it behind your back, trust me, because your back never there and your front. So we have to make it. And then here we are going to say, when we reach Jamaica, you understand? I say, I know, know you're not say no still, but as we are saying, it is a good idea because we feel that this is part of the, the breaking of the chain, musically, media-wise, and as part of the whole liberation movement. You know, see, so we continue. As we say, we have a little guest in the studio. <laughs> so she, she has a face in so she has a face in the studio. It's a, it's a joke. Mama Cafe, how oh, you do? Know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Rastafari, Jamaica. <laughs> it's nice to have Jamaica. Bless and love from Ivory Coast. I'm here. I feel good. I miss you too, Jamaica. Bless up everyone, brothers and sisters, mothers and fathers. Jamaica, Africa, all time for one. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me something now. Mm. When you leave, when you leave Jamaica? I leave Jamaica... I leave Jamaica about uh, four months now. It was uh, January. January, I feel left Jamaica. But it's never really my... When you say I feel left Jamaica, what do you mean? Me, uh, bon, me left Jamaica, bon. me get some, uh, you know, I was in the, some troubles. Okay. They so, deported you? No, they not deport me. Okay. They just, me have to go and come, come back. Come back. Oh, you're, yeah. you're overstayed. Well, they say you're yeah. overstayed. Well, I saw with uh, that we were said it was some more troubles once. On okay, it. okay. So, so, so how long you was in Jamaica continuously? How long? Uh, well, four years. Four years. We have nine years in Jamaica, but I spent short four years. So. You serious? Yeah. You <laughs> <laughs> serious, Muta? So yeah, I will come back in Jamaica. Um, so I finished the the tour over here in Africa. Yeah, where you was, where you was, apart from Ivory Coast, where you went? Oh, okay, I was in France, in, when I left Jamaica, I went to France, and from France I came uh, over here in my country, Ivory Coast, and, bon, avec, uh, avec la grâce de Dieu, with uh, the positive and the givenness of Dieu, I get a tour in Africa. Oh, yeah? Yeah, mm. so, uh, that's, uh, I'm feel happy about that, because it's all the work, I do in Jamaica since the time Jamaica build me, Jamaica make me. <laughs> yeah, ça c'est clair et net. Hein? So this tour is coming up, African West tour. I suppose I go to Guinea Conakry, Senegal, Côte d'Ivoire, and uh, Ghana. So that will take part next month. So this tour I want to give to Jamaica because okay, yeah. Okay. So you, you plan to go back to Jamaica? What? That's the sure. Muta. We can leave. Jamaica is my side. Is a, one of side is Africa in my heart. And one of yeah, next yeah, side yeah, yeah, is yeah, Jamaica. Yeah, yeah. So I will back in Jamaica by summer time. Summer time. Yeah. Like, so so you're, you're on this festival? You're on the festival? Yes. I'm on it uh, Friday. Friday by uh, okay. 6 o'clock PM. Yeah, yeah. I think... Um, Morgan Heritage on the same night. Yeah, Morgan Heritage will be uh, yeah, on, Friday, night, on Friday, Friday night. Yeah, and I am Saturday. Yeah, you are Saturday. I am, um, um, Julian Marley is on Saturday. Oh, see? Okay, yeah. me never see all the programmation. The, the, the program, yeah. So, Muta, yeah. you depend it. Me, I go see you in Africa. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a nice vibration. Huh? Yeah. yeah, see you yeah. in Africa is, uh, wow, yeah. it's nice thing. And I refer listening to you now. I refer 
Yeah. I FM. We are going to FM. Whoa. Wait, 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 wait. You didn't know. You didn't know. He is a, he's a straight lap. He's not just in the ivory coast. No, it's IRFM connected now. That's cutting the edge. You're on, you're on the cutting edge. I'm in the cutting edge in the ivory coast in Jamaica. Yeah. <laughs> hey, no, man. You can't believe, man. Hey, cutting edge in Jamaica. <laughs> No, no, no. man. Muta, how you say? I say you sing that. Cotton Edge, I play right now. Yeah, man. So all my brother and sister are here. Everybody, everybody. Can't tell them, tell them, tell them. Hey, Aisha, Mama Sister, Sister May, Mama O, Sister Taliba, Benji from the Yatis, Congo Judah, Tishan. Oh, lo, 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 love you. I me can't believe it. We're going to Cotton Edge in Ivory Coast. That's a nice vibration, Kwa. Yeah. We did it last year, no? We did it last year. Last year, I was in, ja- uh, I went, I was in did Jamaica. Did you hear it last year? Last year, I hear it last year. Well, no, you are here and you are... I hear the you, Thursday night. And the, Jamaica is hearing you now. Ah, hey, Jamaica coming at Ivory Coast. Yeah, <laughs> that's a nice vibration. <laughs> it's nice to see Muta and Muta Princess yeah, in Jackie, Ivory Jackie, Coast. Jackie, yeah, Jackie. Muta and Jackie in Ivory Coast. Yeah. It's a strange feeling, not really strange, yeah, nice feeling. Is, uh, I, I'm coming back next year. So, no, it will be every year. We are prepared, yeah, we are just, we just finished talking to the promoters and the, we have a different thing lined up for next year too. Wow. And we are going to try to link Cutting Edge. Mm hmm. At least once a month yeah. with this radio station. This is a regular radio station. So Zion FM and Iron FM every month, they might go work together. No, well, cutting edge. Cutting edge? Yeah, wow. Yeah, yes. That is our one big project that <laughs> yeah. Africa, Jamaica, it has to be like that, Muta, because yes. the time has passed and we have to come together. Mm-hmm. It's time. Mm-hmm. So wow is uh wow, we can't believe Muta you there here from Tamina Ivory Coast. Hey, cutting edge. Well born. Me soon come uh, Jamaica. I'm come back with a nice surprise because we're gonna release my album in Africa. Mm-hmm. Since me come, I get uh, I get a management team in Africa too. Oh, yes? Yeah, in Ivory Coast. So big up this management team. So you are the, the original Jamaican Rasta <laughs> princess in the Ivory Coast now. With all the experience so you have in a Jamaica now. No, Jamaica. You you gonna start your own. Bon. Organization. Yeah, Jamaica <laughs> built me, so I have to continually and yeah. continually the building between Africa and Jamaica. Yes, yes. So all the vibes in Jamaica I bring over here, same way. And yeah. You know, brothers and sisters here ask me about Jamaica, all the things are going So me explain to them and me tell them Jamaica love Africa all time, all time. Hey, Cotonet, ça va Cotonet, on dit quoi? <laughs> <laughs> Kasumai, Kasumai, Kotenej. Whoa. <laughs> well, we can't believe it. We can't that. believe it. He, we can't believe until now. Yeah. Depending on Kotenej in the Ivory Coast. It's like, yeah. It's so, a, how far are you live from here? How far are you live? I live about uh, 30 minutes, 30 minutes from here. But I was on Rochelle today till 4 o'clock uh, this morning. Oh, you were waiting for the show? Yeah, for oh. the show. And, and another show is coming up, Femua. It's another reggae fe- um, festival of traditional music so yeah Jamaica you make me get myself in a music business in a music singing very good because every time when people listen the songs I build in Jamaica it's like people happy so really Jamaica would you like to tell you thank you very much yeah, this is the cutting edge on RFM and on Zion Radio right here and we're sitting with Mama Cafe. <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean? Bon, Mama Cafe is it's the diminutive of my name because my full name, my father and mother gave me is Mariam. So any girl named Mariam, we call them Mama, the short name. Mm-hmm. Yes. And puis Cafe, the Burkina Faso country call me like that, Mama Cafe, because mm-hmm. I love Cafe bad. Right. I love Cafe. Any country I go, I have the Cafe of the country. It's like a collection of cafe me love. Uh, what is cafe? The, the cafe you coffee, drink. Coffee, yeah, okay, the coffee. Coffee, okay, okay. So, them, them just call me Mama Cafe one day. and I love cafe. I love cafe, cafe bad. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, since maybe 15 years now, 
people call me Mama Cafe. Yeah, yeah, so I keep, yeah. I keep Mama Cafe for my artists. Are you coming to Jamaica with Mama Cafe? Yeah, same way I come in Jamaica. Hey, <laughs> Jamaica. <laughs> hey, Muta. Hey, no, Jamaica. Tell you that, Jamaican people and those who know Mama Cafe, if we ever see her face now, it's like she's in a dream world. She can't believe it. <laughs> she can't believe say, I am here, but worst of all, she can't believe say, she talking to Jamaica. <laughs> same time. Mm. <laughs> We well, send program and listen when we there in Jamaica. You know, it's no. life in your country. Uh, that's, a, that's a nice muta because, you know, long time we have worked for, for make the thing go on between Jamaica and Africa. Yes, yes. And you get to make it with uh, Abi, Abi Reggae, Reggae Festival. Zion FM. So it's a really nice thing. And we hope all the projects you have said just a while ago going to work and it will work. Yes, yes, yes. yes, yes. And you know that it don't stop here. This is just a process. This is a part of where we are struggling for, where we are fighting for, and it continues for the next level too. Nothing. You know, we can see that the, the music is a springboard for all of it, especially Rastafari, because the promoters is saying that they want the youth them here to understand reggae music and Rasta. Mm -hmm. That is why they start the radio station. And I mean, we call it Zion Radio, so you must know how serious them is. Them very and serious. And they play reggae. They play reggae, them play for We never see that in uh, Ivory Coast. Yeah. Since the twen last 20 years past, yeah. we never have no more music, reggae music I play. Mm. We never have no more festival. Mm. So that I come in a one package, and it's a really one nice package. <laughs> yeah. All right, Baba. So look good and feel good. Both which you say are going that's all. You understand? Okay. So we will continue the musical journey. As we are saying, we are here to really take part in this second edition of the Abbey Reggae Festival. Uh, it starts today, 8, 7, 8, 9, and 10th April. It starts today, and it's featuring three Jamaican acts. We want to mention the man called Julian Marley, myself, and Morgan Heritage. And we have four days four days of non-stop reggae music and symposiums. And the symposiums is very, very, I mean, for Africa, because I am used to it outside of Africa, but for Africa, it's something to be old, that hundreds of young people gather in this big tent, like one of them tents where you see the church people, they have a Jamaica. <laughs> right, sweet, you know. <laughs> it's sweet, man. But I don't have a type of white sweet, man, for that little level. But the, 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 the tent, they put all air conditioning and the tent them up here. You, know? you think them easy? They put air conditioning, close up the tent, them, and over hundreds of youth gather inside. It's not only youth, but mostly youth. Because it would appear to me like them invite, them invite the school children them there to, you know, if you really see what's happening. And you have speakers, guest speakers, from all over Africa, especially Rastafari um, voices. And that is very important to the promoters. They want to project the Rastafari voice in Ivory Coast. So you have different speakers, Pan-Africanists, you know, people who is in tune with, with, with the music itself. And uh, for four days, four days, we know that today, it going to start at 9 o'clock and it goes on till the, the show starts in the evening. The next morning again, you come again, 9 o'clock. And we have a, a similar setup like any festival, whether in Jamaica or in Europe. It's a similar setup. You have a, a big stage, the, the main stage, and you have a second stage where when the main stage... When the main stage is not um, going on, you have a second stage. You have, you have craft vendors, craft vendors from all over the Ivory Coast, as far as Benin, um, as far as um, Burkina Faso. You know, when we was coming here, we stopped in Burkina Faso. But craft vendors, Rastafari, craft, African craft artifacts and everything, uh, it, it's wonderful. It's really wonderful to see this taking place in Africa. As I said before, we're used to it in other countries. But to actually see it manifesting itself in Africa and this level. Because, you know, we went to a festival in, in Gambia. And Gambia, the smallest country in Africa, 
they have been doing reggae, uh, uh, well, let's say the reggae festival, but a festival that includes reggae for, for years. But this, this in Ivory Coast is the largest, largest reggae festival I have seen and the most ambitious project for reggae music in Africa. I must tell you that. The most ambitious. I mean, years ago, they tried to do something like this in other parts of Africa. But this year is actually a regular... I never even know them going to do it every year. I thought they was going to do it every two years, like um, Gambia. But they're actually doing it every year, and this is the second year. And we really feel good for no say this thing I really... It's, it's kicking off. Here goes. Now I tell you, it's Wally Padina. <laughs> Wally Padina, go on with this music. Here. Trust me, man. It have to share with enough people. Enough people it have to share with. But the Pan Africanism, Pan Africanism, you know, Marcus Gavin said, Africa for Africans, those at home and those abroad. Well, really and truly, Really and truly, Africa is really for Africans, those at home and those abroad. And we really give thanks to know so we can take part in this aspect of Africa for Africans, those at home and those abroad. And when we come here, we say that even the work that we have been doing over the years is not thrown in the, in, 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 in the street or you know, thrown to swines. It really rivet and penetrate. Rivet and penetrate, seriously. For those of you who think that dog poach is dead, in jo- it, it, it might not be as active in Jamaica, but trust me, man, it's a different thing. And so, same way when we go to South Africa and Nigeria, poetry is something that is very important today, what we call the griot. For those of you who don't know what griot is, go to your dictionary, go on the internet and see what griot means. But the griot is a very important part of the village in Africa. The growth keeps and maintains the history, the culture and even sometimes in real and rave against the wrongs and the ills of the society or the village. So what we are doing is not something new. It do have its genesis amongst us. It was from times in Africa until now. We just continue in the journey that our ancestors started. That's why we must respect what came before us. No matter if it looked like certain things never work out. But we can see what never work out and correct. Correct it. You understand? Just like what we are doing now. We see certain things that was put to us and we are correcting it. We have to correct it. So we continue. This is the cutting edge on RFM. The uh, artist called Tikinja Fakole out of the Ivory Coast. He will be performing on the festival Saturday night. Also on the Saturday night is yours truly and Julian Marley. Other artists from, it don't really make sense, I call the name them, but I tell you which part them come from, right? <laughs> kind of really make sense, I call the name them. You don't know. Libyan. Ethiopia, Ivory Coast, Jamaica, Jamaica, Ivory Coast. And this year we noticed that they, they're using more of their Ivory Coast artists. Very important. They're using more of the Ivory Coast artists. But you have artists from Burkina Faso. You have artists from Mali. You have artists from Senegal. I mean, Ghana. Cape Verde, Guinea, you name it, man. I mean, it, it, it is one, one melting pot of African artists converging this week, starting today. So those of you in Jamaica, you can still make it for Friday <laughs> or Saturday. You can still make it for Saturday. It took us two days to reach here. <laughs> two days of Flying and sitting out in the airport. Believe you me, it, it, it's crazy. It's crazy, but that's how it go. We have to do what we have to do. Direct in Zion FM in Avricos. We are happy to be here with Mr. Mutabaruka 
and we're trying to connect the two countries, uh, Jamaica and uh, Africa, Coast, uh, at live broadcasting. And we are be happy to be in Jamaica there to do a, a live broadcasting to Jamaica from Africa Coast here. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So thank you. So. So you going to take part in the in the in the you're you're taking part in the festival or you're just at the radio station? Yeah, we wanna do a live broadcasting from, from the festival. The, yeah, from the okay. festival directly to our end. Yeah, I know you did the, the, I know you did the, the conferences. Yeah, the conferences. Last year you yeah. did it live. Yeah. yeah, the conference will be in live broadcasting uh, to Zion FM here okay. in internet. Okay. Yeah, everybody can hear it in internet. Yes, okay, yeah. all right. Give time, give time. The Alpha Blood Lady, where you're there, you know, say I come long a little more. Believe me, we have to get to say I come long. We don't take everything that easy, you know, you're Alpha. Okay. So, here we are, I don't know, because it's very important. The brethren tell you where we plan, where we say we're going to try it, though. We're going to try and make it a, a once a month thing. It's easy for two hours where we connect it. And he is the one who is telling us that it can be done. He is he's, he's, he's willing to do it, and he's, he would it would it would be happy, very happy to do this. So I am very happy too, and continue on my program. <laughs> continue on my program. You understand? We love Andrew Williams. I'm sorry, I don't say Andrew Williams. I talk to her as a long time friend. I talk to her as but no friend. We love Cabo, Mahat, Iru. But we are making decisions here. And I think the decision is part of what Cabo would love to participate in. Okay. Yeah, you know, it's four minutes to six in the morning right here in the Ivory Coast. We know say it's four minutes to one right over there in Jamaica. We got a joy. Joy now we are. Hey, anybody? Oh, no. Alpha Blondie out there. Tell him, say... We don't have no joke with him in the last time. I'll be finding himself on the radio station today. Because I'm telling myself when I come. Well, I can't see the three o'clock hours as an elder man. <laughs> but I am an elder man also, and I was here from two o'clock. You understand? But we want to just send out invitation again to Alpha Blande. Alpha Blande have a radio, a radio station named Alpha Blande FM Radio. And we was there today. And we sat with them, do interviews and all the things them that is necessary. So we want Alpha Blonde to know that we are expecting him today. You understand? We yeah, just saw it go because we love him. We love him because it's him who opened the way for reggae music and Rastafari to penetrate Ivory Coast. Without a doubt, it's him do it. So we still again send out invitation to Alpha. For really, because last year we try to get him here, we try to get him here, but it never worked. So we don't want it to work two time. What I say, we don't want it to work two time. I tell you, say, Mama Cafe, you know, say, you see, Mama Cafe say, Jamaica and Ivory Coast are home as some feel when she can move between the two places, them as so it's supposed to go. No hindrance, but can move. Anytime you want, you can move. Yeah, we give thanks say we're in a, that position and that situation that we set the life. Because Africa is something where we hold dearly. We give thanks say we set the life in a way where we can come here and stay over Jamaica. And if we want to stay over here, we can stay here. If we want to stay in Jamaica, we can't stay here. But at this moment, we're moving to and fro. And we love that we can do that. Because there was a time when Rasta couldn't even go up on a aeroplane, much less. If you could talk about them, I go <laughs> travel by the aeroplane. So we give thanks for the difference and the change in times. And we are making that effort for open it up even further than that. And this, as simple as you might take it, you in a Jamaica might feel so simple, but them Ivory Coast people are not take it simple. They not take it simple at all. When you see them embrace Rasta and reggae music, them way there, it's not a simple thing. So it's really, it's almost like it is, it's in a bud stage, but we see it a blossom, we see it a bloom, we see it going to come and spread on another level, on one of the levels them where we did not look for all the while. So 
Yeah, we give thanks. We give thanks. May I tell you, say, right now, it's the sun has come up. We're not in the studio, but we can't say the sun has come up. It's 13 minutes past six. And we know it's 13 minutes past one in a Jamaica. We soon come for the, um, the, the ad, but, and I romanticize it, but it's a total different feeling me I feel as right now. Just being here doing this and knowing that it had transmitted to Jamaica and looking outside and seeing the African sunrise. Total different feeling. May I tell you? I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean nah, romanticize it because we're not Roman. You understand? We, we're not Roman, so we don't romanticize nothing. But we just feel different knowing somebody do this program here. Thousands of miles away from the, the place where we used to do it. And in the morning, you know, because we never usually see the sunrise when we're done the cutting edge. When we're done the cutting edge, it's 2 o'clock, which is soon 2 o'clock, you know. But now it's after 6. So we're done the program, 7 o'clock. Yes, sir. And the sun, believe you me, man, it, it, it's something. It's something. You know, you just hear Mama Cafe say she can't without her cafe, so they call her cafe. In Ivory Coast, they call it cafe, and they call it cashew, cashew. C A J O U, Kaju. And Kaju and Cafe is the main export. As a matter of fact, last year when we was here, the Prime Minister told us that this year they will be, they're going to outrun India. Cause we are told that India is the largest. Well, the Prime Minister told me that this year Ivory Coast is on its way to be the biggest exporter of Kaju. As I am told, kaju is what we call kiacho, not. And coffee is what they call cafe. As you hear, Mama Cafe says she can't do it out her cafe because she's from Ivory Coast. Well, we go around the place and we see them, them buckle the kaju in a some quart buckle. We would have to call rum buckle. Quart rum buckle. Them buckle it in a the buckle. Them. We see that in a Gambia too. And even in a Ghana, we see it too. But apparently, this is the place in this part of the world, West Coast, where most of the kaju come from. And we love it. <laughs> I tell you, we, we love it. Believe you, be I swear, we don't have to know. You could have deal as some kaju, we are going to look for. Yeah, and stay away. The thing, stay away. And right now, we see some people are rectified. If we know how to rectify it in Jamaica, we see some people out of Africa know how to rectify the thing. So they don't complain about Billboard get stone, white woman, reggae artists that every year. Our album was the biggest selling album last year in reggae music. And you have other white artists who sell more than any Jamaican artist. I will, I will feel like say America is the beginning and end of it all. That if you choose no go sell twenty thousand in America, you're not going with nothing. Africa, Nigeria alone have one hundred and seventy million people. So when you sell all a million tune in Nigeria, you don't sell nothing yet. How much Jamaica not sell a million record in a, in a, in a, in, a, in America? We too Americanized and feel say America is the world. America is just a little portion. America is one continent out of seven continents. Africa is the second largest continent on the earth with 50 different countries. Ivory Coast have 27 different, what they call tribes, and many languages. So it's not a little joke business. When we are talking about Africa, and we are talking about penetrate Africa and pan Africanism, it's a serious thing. We put your mind upon, upon America too much. And if America sneeze, we catch coal. If America sneeze, we catch coal. We must stop catch coal from America. So we are saying it's important, very important, very important. Because we're not stop saying it, you know. And anything we say yesterday, we're going to say it today. Anything we say last week, we're going to say it today. Anything we say one, two, three, four, ten years ago, we're going to still say it today. 
because the struggle continue, the journey continue. We cannot keep allowing America to decide our every move culturally, politically, religiously, spiritually, economically, sexually. We cannot allow America to keep doing that. It's a crazy thing. And Africa now, Africa now as it is, is in a serious problem. The infiltration of what we call neocolonialism by the leaders of Africa and the penetration of China and America into this part of the world is causing a serious problem. Serious problem to the maintainers of African culture, African spirituality, and economic and social order of Africa. We see it in the youth, them, how them dress, how them look, them mannerism. You know, we, we're in our studio today with some little, we, we, with some little sisters in the audience. Them look like any little sister will come from Jamaica in the ghetto where we want to wear false wig and false hair and false this and false that. The only thing we never see them bleach, but we know that bleaching is a big thing in a Senegal and India. But when we have said that, good must overcome evil. You know, see, and the people without that knowledge of them history is like a tree without root. And right now, African people must understand how important and vital is it to maintain them sovereignty. To maintain them sovereignty, we must have the right to make mistakes and correct mistakes because it's only African solutions can solve African problems. Can we say that again? It's only African solutions can solve African problems. So it's very important and necessary that we understand how oh, the manipulation of our music has created havoc not only in Jamaica, but in the minds of people who had thought that Jamaican music would be and maintain its vanguard ship in the world of revolution and cultural expression. A lot of people felt that way. And when them hear the garbage and the filth we have come out of Jamaica right now, them open them mouth in awe. Ah, can't believe it. The youth them today was in awe ah, to say, how oh, we manage the music. The music where them era come out of Jamaica now because them now go make that turn them to swear. And we see a whole heap of media, especially in America, when you listen to them and play the music, them now select what to play. Them just play any madness we have come out of Jamaica and I say, Jamaica this and Jamaica that. You understand? We are declared. We are declared that it must stop somewhere. It must stop somewhere. And we're glad for you to say we buck up on some youth. We are over in Africa, yes, sir. We are maintaining that. We go to Alpha Blanc, the um, real station today, and him also, over the years, has maintained a certain cultural expression, and say, him play African music and reggae from film radio station. Him now left out Africa. And we give thanks. We give thanks. So something is happening. And the only way we know going to know it's happening is to come here and broadcast that it is happening. Because media and a whole, not going to tell you, we don't hear nothing about the Abbey Reggae Festival nowhere else but in Ivory Coast. And on the website. The media that we're gonna tell you about that. You understand? So it is good that we can come here and send the message out there to make you know say why it's not everything Chinese happening in Africa and not everything American happening in Africa. But the Africans themselves is doing things to connect themselves. Just like how we as Pan Africanists, Rastafari, Bridget and Sistrin, is doing things to connect ourselves with Africa. The African them is also reaching out, reaching out to Jamaica, especially Jamaica, because them still see Jamaica as a light in the darkness. Them still see Jamaica as a light in the darkness. So when you hear the man them get up and make a radio station named Zion FM, and them going to play pure reggae music, and them going to have a 
big reggae festival named a big reggae festival that is only reggae the planet and it's only African artists the planet. It's a serious move that. A very serious move. I take it light. I'm not taking it light, you know. The man them say African reggae. And when them say African reggae, they matter about Jamaican who play reggae. That is why last year you did have Marcia Griffiths. You did have Judy Moat. You did have Yeshima Bet. You did have Morgan Heritage. You did have myself here. You did have 809 Man. You did have Kimani Mali. You understand? The man, them serious Rasta. And this year again, we see them spread them wings all over Africa. Because it's an African thing. And them understand that. And we in talks with them for other things too. Them know them not a joke because it's four years ago the man him come to Jamaica and talk to me about this thing. Here. And we see it like manifest itself. So and we have other things talking about. We have other things talking about. You understand? And we glad so we book up on some serious man. The serious man them. They, them look to me serious because no man now gonna spend millions of dollars to come keep sure. And send back from Uta Baruka again and again. If you come talk on radio and perform for them show and you understand? Them now do that just out of the blue, so and from white people where you understand they, 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 them have a cause. Them voting for a cause. Them want this country especially, not only Africa, but them is very nationalistic for the Ivory Coast. They want this country to be the center. Of reggae music in Africa. Because them talk about Rotterdam. Every time you talk to them, they mention Rotterdam. They say they don't see why what happened in Rotterdam couldn't happen in Africa. And them using Rotterdam as their springboard for Africa. Because to them, Rotterdam have them thing going. And them say, what them see in Rotterdam should take place in Africa. And them go all out to make it take place. So, we give thanks. We give thanks. So the Virgin who is monitoring the internet, him just tell me, say, since the program start, it have 3,017 hits. I, I don't know if that is good or bad, but I don't know how... That, that is good. That is good for the, the, the radio station here. The, 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 just, just the internet alone, not not the radio station, it's on the radio, but internet. Okay, I don't understand. Tony supposed to understand them things in Jamaica, but yeah, they, he's telling me that since the program start, it got 3,000 and rising. <laughs> it's just a show, we say it got fast, 18 now. 3,000, and he's very happy. He's very happy to know that 3,000 and people log on on the internet. To hear this broadcast on Zion Radio and an extension RFM. We want the people who log on to Zion Internet to know that we will be back here at 7 o'clock, cut of our time, 7 o'clock, which is 2 o'clock Jamaica time. We'll be here for four hours again. And we know that. After we've done the program, we'll be heading on to the first day of the Abbey Reggae Festival. We love it. We love it. Yes, we're on the last lap of the program, you know. We don't give the thanks to them already. We don't have no more thanks to give, you know. Yes. So, we, we, as we said, we feel good. As we said, we started the thing a little glitchy, but I saw it go. When I met that watch where the, the bridge of them is up in here, the management, the management for the studio, him say when him look and see the internet leaks them and him say 3,000 and add, him say it is, it is great because I'm usually get 1,000 and add and all these things. So, yes, it, it, the, the people, they have tuned in. And that is just internet. That's what him say. That is just internet. So, if the internet is so quick, can you imagine how much people out there is 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 there? Yes. Okay. So here we go now. I assume there's a matrix in the building, you know. <laughs> I assume there's matrix in the building because there's a matrix now in outside broadcast from Australia, now Japan. 
Beatrix, what are you doing, man? Yes. About we see the sun coming up, the African sun rise. Believe you me, it's, it's something else. We still long in our studio, doing the cutting edge in our next country, like Africa, and watch the sun rise. So you know, now, I gone, we gone, you know. I gone, we gone until little more. As we said, 2 to 5.45 in Jamaica. And right here from 7 o'clock. Yes, we start from 7 o'clock in the night. Give thanks to the moment, give thanks to the time, give thanks to the energy. I swear it go. We're gone.